close. It's really good to be with you again. We did want to be back in the parish centre, but unfortunately we couldn't be. But we're back in your lounge or your dining room, wherever you are, we're here with you. And what do we say when we come to Lighthouse? We say, who's in the house? I can't hear you, you're gonna to have to really, really shout. Are you ready? We wanna really raise the roof off your house with this next one. We're only gonna do it one more time, you ready? Who's in the house? Excellent, that was so much better, brilliant. Okay, and the four reasons why we come to Lighthouse, they're behind me on the banner, do you remember them? The first one is to love God, and to let God love you. That's the most important one, isn't it? Knowing that we are loved by God. Whatever's going on, he loves you. The second one here is to read the Bible, to read God's word. And we open up our Bibles like this, and we always learn from God's word during Lighthouse, don't we? The next one, my favorite, is the arrow, isn't it? To lead others to Jesus to tell our friends all about the God who loves them. And the last one here is our tick, to live right every day. So we're going to be looking today at the I am's of Jesus. Jesus said seven phrases where he said, I am something. He said, I am the good shepherd. I am the light of the world. I am the gate, I am the vine, and today we're looking at when Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Okay, so before we do that, let's just pray together. Let's get our wiggly fingers. Can we do that, everybody? Remember what we do? Five, four, three, two, one, pray. Father, thank you for Lighthouse. Thank you that we can be together, even if it is on Zoom but you are with us always. And we pray that as we learn about um, who you are, that you are the bread of life and what that means, we pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us, will be speaking to us. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're now going to sing. So even if you are, in your house, we want you to jump up and we're going to worship together. Such a lot when you've got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
such a love when you got not a love what be happy watch on the telly anymore. <sighs> it's either repeats or reality shows. I'm getting really bored with watching the same old programs. I just long for something different I suppose. Hmm, I might as well switch it off. Let me have a look at my Facebook and what friends of my friends have been up to. Nothing happening there. Lockdown life, I suppose. <sighs> Everything is so boring. You get up, go to school, come back home, eat dinner, do homework and then watch telly. I wish... I wish that there was some point to all of this. At least last year. I had a holiday to look forward to. Oh well, I suppose I could go shopping again. Except I have to do everything online now. A couple of days ago, I bought this really cool t-shirt. And I haven't got anything to go with it. So perhaps I ought to buy some new jeans that will fit with it. The thing is though, I've only got £10 left and um, till the end of the month and I wish my dad just earned more money so that there are always more things I want. Hmm. The funny thing is that once I've bought something after a few weeks or so I get bored and I get fed up so it doesn't seem to satisfy me anymore. I wonder if anything will ever satisfy me. Perhaps I ought to play the lottery. Imagine winning a million pounds and spending it on whatever you want. Oh my gosh. I can have my own house. I could own my own yacht. I can... My own swimming pool. And an endless supply of designer clothes. But the thing is, most people in the magazines and newspapers I read, most millionaires, they look miserable. Maybe having loads of stuff and money doesn't really keep you satisfied any more than not having any money. Oh, I wish I could find someone who could tell me where I can f find where to find satisfaction that lasts. Wow, that was great acting, Kaya. Thanks very much for that. So, in our sketch, it ends where Kaya says, I wish I could find someone who could tell me where to find lasting satisfaction. Well, today, that is what we're going to learn about. And we're going to learn about how Jesus is the only person who can truly satisfy us. And that's because he made us, he's our creator. And he knows us better than anybody else. But first, I have a question. What is a miracle? Hmm. Have a think about that. What do you think a miracle is? So miracles are actions and deeds that are very different from what we would normally expect to happen in our world. Something supernatural. And in the Bible, miracles are done by God's power and bring glory to God. And Jesus is plenty of those. Now then, have any of you ever heard of Dynamo or Mr. Dynamo? He is an illusionist. 
someone who pretends that he can do miracles and things that are supernatural, but he's only pretending. Now we're going to watch this clip. Enjoy. And here's somebody else. Look at this picture. This is our very own Fiona Saunders. Look, walking on the water off the coast of Devon. Another great pretender there. Now then, we're going to watch a clip from one of Jesus' early miracles when he fed 5,000 people with only five loaves and two fishes. But the difference here is Jesus wasn't pretending. He really could do supernatural things that broke the laws of nature. How much money do we have? Uh, how much do you need? Jesus wants us to feed everybody. We're in the middle of nowhere here. Uh, your guess is two hours away. We need a caravan of, I don't know, a hundred donkeys to carry all the food. Peter, look here. This basket is a start. What? Peter, bring the lad. So, Reuben ben Hillel, you are willing to share your food with us? I... I brought five loaves and two fish, but you can have them. H how did you know my name? Thank you for your offering. Stay right here. Have the people sit down. Thank you, Father, for this food and for young Reuben's generous heart. Now, Jehovah Jireh, feed your people. You and I will eat last. Can you wait? Earthly food spoils and ruins. So you should work to get the food that stays good always. I am the bread that gives life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Those who see the Son and believe in him have eternal life, and I will raise them on the last day. This is what my Father wants. amazing wasn't it i'd love to have been in that crowd that day and watched that amazing miracle now did you remember did you hear what jesus said near the end of the clip he said one of the i am's he said i am the bread of life and you can find that in the bible so over to sam for our bible reading thanks kath i hope you've got your bibles too what I want you to do is look up the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35, and when you find it, I want you to lift your Bibles and go, hallelujah, like that. Okay, let's have a race, see who can find it first. I 
hope you've got it and you've said your hallelujahs. So what does it say? My version says, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. I wonder what Jesus meant by that. Do you think he meant that he was a, a loaf of bread? Mm, that can't be right, can it? Jesus was describing something more than that. What Jesus was actually saying was that he was comparing himself to good food. Food that gives you strength and nutrients so that you can live your life. And if we've got to have real friendship with Jesus and know God, then we will be fully satisfied and not need to fill our lives with other things. So if I'm hungry, I might choose to eat a marshmallow, but it's generally made up of sugar and very light. There's not much substance to it, but it's very tasty. Mmm, mmm, I do like them. But if I ate too many of these, I'd probably be sick and my teeth would fall out. Whereas here is a wholesome loaf of bread full of vitamins and good nutrients that are good for my body and this helps us to understand what Jesus was saying he is the real source of life and strength for us you know in our sketch Kaya was looking for things to satisfy her hunger and her boredom a bit like I was looking for something to satisfy me in my body and chose a marshmallow she was choosing things that wouldn't satisfy her like social media and a phone and a friend and you know we all look for things to satisfy our needs don't we you know, some people think that money will satisfy it may be your latest toy it may be your friends but people let us down we need to remember that jesus can be trusted you know, he is the best friend that we will ever have. His words will always keep us going and bring life to our whole bodies inside and out. Now we're going to go back to our Bibles, get them ready, over to Kath. Fabulous, right, so you already have John chapter 6 open and we're going to look at verse 51, okay? Tell me when you found it, shout out your hallelujah. Have you got it? So Jesus says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Okay, so if we come to Jesus and accept him as Lord and Saviour of our lives and learn to live his way by reading the Bible and putting what it says into practice, then we will be living as God intended us to live, knowing him and having life forever with him. And nothing can beat that. In God's true book, the Bible, Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about himself. And they all start with the words, I am. Now, I'm going to give you a clue to what our first one is. Here's a picture. Can you see it yet? Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Now, uh, what's your favourite type of bread? White bread, brown, seeded, toasted, granary, pitta, naan? My favourite bread is a freshly baked white bread. Mmm, it's so good. Now, I know one type of bread that you won't like to eat. That's mouldy bread. Oh, look at that. Good bread gives us energy, doesn't it? It keeps us going. But mouldy bread takes it away. It stops us going. Our bread keeps us going, but after a bit of time, we need some more. Jesus says he is good bread. He's good bread from heaven. Now, Jesus uses this picture to say that when we believe in Jesus and we follow him, we will live forever. He is the bread that keeps us going forever. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's absolutely awesome.
marks on the quiz. We're just going to end by praying together. So let's do our wiggly fingers. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one, pray. Lord Jesus, we come to you believing that you are the bread of life. You alone are the one who can truly satisfy us. Please forgive us for trying to satisfy our inner hunger with wrong things. And we believe that you died for our sins when you hung on the cross. Please give us the gift of life and help us to put time aside to get to know you more. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen.